Hello, everyone. I am so thrilled to be here with Anishwara from Romania. Anishwara is one of our great Gaia ambassadors. I absolutely love her with all my heart. And she is here to chat with us a little bit about what Gaia means to her and why she's become an ambassador. Just so you know, Anishwara works a lot with the Gene Keys, uh, which is Richard Rudd's work. And we do have an open minds with Regina Meredith about the Gene Keys. So if you're curious, you can uh, look there and, and find him, Richard Rudd, talking about Gene Keys. But Anishwara is a real expert in this work. So hi, Anishwara. Thank you for being with me all the way from Romania. Hi, Julie. I'm very happy to be with you today. Yay. So my first question for you, my dear, is um, how did you find Gaia? And what do you love about Gaia and on Gaia? Uh, I find out about Gaia uh, through, through um, advertisement. I find out uh, the advertisement made for Matthias de Stefano initiation, and I felt uh, so drawn by it. It spoke to me through imagery and through message, and I registered right away. I felt it is for me. I was so happy to listen to all those informations so beautiful made, and then. I discovered a huge database with interviews and documentaries and movies and everything I was looking for. I like it very much. Yes, it, it spoke to me. So I was very happy. I find it. I think I heard about it before, but I didn't make that inner click. Sometimes when it's the right moment, something is making click inside and you are there. Absolutely, that's great. And I know having worked with you personally, you're a woman of great wisdom. And so I'm sure that the level of wisdom that Gaia brings is, is probably um, food for your soul. Yes, yes. I like very much Regina Meredith, yes, an open mind series, but I, the most that it's touching to my soul is the mystery teachings of Teresa Bullard. I like her so much, um, her wisdom, her presence, her way of sharing information, it speaks to me very much. And I have many other um, documentaries or series that I like. I'm interested in this kind of mystery teaching more to understand what is uh, lying beyond this physical reality we see with our physical eyes and understand the mysteries of of life and everything. I like the Arcanum presented by Claire and, uh, and William Henry also. Uh, also, I was very happy very recently to discover biogeometry presented by Dr. Sue Mortar. Uh, biogeometry is something that I study lately I mean, in my initiated uh, phases of learning biogeometry, but I was so happy to, to find interviews uh, with Dr. Ibrahim Karim on, on Gaia. So there are many things that I find in there. Yes, yes, absolutely. I'm so glad you brought up mystery teachings too. Um, I love Teresa Bullard and also William Henry. And last night I was listening to um, Barbara Marks Hubbard and I got so excited. I was staying up till midnight listening to her. She's a great woman of wisdom. So, so, so let me ask you, why did you decide to become an ambassador? 
a Gaia ambassador. How did that happen? Well, I think it, it happened uh, because the, the first um, instinct I had was to share with people uh, this, this um, um, documentaries and interviews that I find out there. I think it's, it is my nature to share with people uh, because I feel actually it's my construction. Uh, conform with the gene keys, I came into this world to serve. So it's something natural for me to share. And I have a database of people with whom I work or they follow the information I share. And I shared with the database. I didn't have any kind of expectation that something will happen or all people will register or not. I just loved to share and to have people to talk about this. Uh, we, we had a group and we talk about Matias de Stefano initiation. And it's very uh, beautiful to share with people this kind of things. It really is. And, and, you know, I've noticed having talked with other ambassadors alongside you that we all feel the same, that we just want to share these, these beautiful, this beautiful content with others, this wisdom, these wisdom teachings. So it's, it's a fabulous, um, it's a fabulous forum. It's a fabulous platform. And, and I love it that it's in 185 countries. So we can keep expanding and expanding and expanding out to, to the world, to really touch the world. So um, let me ask you, what are your main ways of creating success? You know, you have brought in a lot of people uh, to Gaia th through your community, your links. And um, is it, tell me, is it primarily sharing and where do you share? And is it personal? Is it collective? I, I share in my newsletter. So I have a database with 1,000 and something people. It may be uh, a database small for some people or bigger for others. This is the database I have now. And I'm sharing on my Facebook page. I even shared on Instagram. And on my website, I created the landing page and I present there a little bit about Gaia and I'm um, putting there um, those documentary that uh, they speak to me. In a way, I can't share something that it doesn't speak to me. First, I see those documentaries, interviews, or movies, and if there is possible to be shared, I, then I share them with people. And out of this, some people uh, register from the portal, some people register from this sharing, and it was something that just happened very naturally and without um, expectation from my side. I love that. I really love that. Yeah, most people don't know there is a program until we reach out to you and say, wow, what are you doing? You've been sharing all these wonderful things and now you have all these people that have joined you. So I, I do love that it's such a natural way and uh, without expectation, I really love that. Um, so let me ask you, Anishwara, why do you think now is such an important time to be sharing Gaia with the world? I think especially during this time with this big change that are happening into the world is the most proper time to discover Gaia because there are so many hidden information that uh, people can't find them. Uh, they are sometimes not allowed on some public uh, platforms, but, but on Gaia, you can find 
so many information, even shared from um, military people. So I, I was very much amazed to find out top secret information in a way shared on, on Gaia by military people and find out about uh, other worlds or um, different other things. I think it's very important to open your mind to understand there are different possibilities, to understand that each one of us has a responsibility in creating the world we are living in and to understand how we do that to our thoughts and to our beliefs. And Gaia offers so many things. I like Jody Spencer um, information. They are so powerful and so many meditation and so much open minded information. I can't point now enough, but I feel people don't know what kind of treasure is in there. Because if they will know this platform offers so many information, maybe they pay a lot of money to take it from different sources, they can find it on Gaia. They can find meditations, yoga programs, and all kinds of other information from top people from the world. For a minimum amount of money, I think it's something amazing. Absolutely. I, I couldn't agree more. To me, it's like finding the Alexandria Library. It's finding, you know, a diamond mine that you didn't know existed. It's, it, it's really, really special. So thank you for pointing that out. And um, it's, it's so delightful just to, to listen to you speak. You have this wonderful way of speaking. This is so heart-centered kind of lilting way. And it's, it's almost hypnotic. I'm just uh, so enjoying what, what you're saying and how you're saying it. Um, so I want to switch gears a little uh, here toward the end of our time to ask you about you and your spiritual turning point, or maybe there are a couple of really sort of powerful turning points where everything shifted for you can you share a little about one of those or a couple of those? One of the most um, important moments for me, it was at the end of year 2007, when I traveled to Italy uh, in the Gralia mountain to receive the Kala Chakra initiation from a group of uh, uh, Lama teachers from uh, Tibet. Uh, the main teacher, the main Lama, um, it was for the first time in his life traveling outside his monastery. It was a, a very powerful uh, moment for me. I stayed there two weeks. And one day, I traveled to a Catholic monastery something happened during that time and that I had a little bit of inner conflict because somebody told me that um, I will become a Buddhist after receiving Kala Chakra initiation and I was not ready yet to let go uh, my religion. I was a Christian um, in my culture. And I travel to this monastery. I was invited by, by some people. And in there, I had a very powerful experience with a statue. That statue was called Sandrun. And going next to that statue, I felt so loved and it was like I, I was becoming fluidic in a way. 
and absorbed by this invisible love. And I could not understand why somebody, even invisible, will love me that much. I didn't feel lovable at that time. I didn't feel I deserve that much love and so pure love. And I start to talk in my heart with that statue. And I ask, who are you? And why you love me? And the answer from the statue, I could hear it in my heart. And in my heart, I could hear very clear, I'm Jesus Christ. And I was shocked because the statue didn't look like a Jesus. Jesus I knew from the paintings. And I was looking to the statue. I could see the name Sandrun. And I was asking again, who are you? And the answer was coming again, but in my heart. I am Jesus Christ. Three times I ask, three times I received the same answer. And I left that place without being able to speak. I was so shattered by this experience, like um, I could not believe it and I could not understand it. It was beyond my mind, acceptance and understanding. And later on, I, somebody told me who was Sandrun. Sandrun was a statue built after uh, the T Torino, um, I, I, I don't know the name in English. It was the, the, the peace, um, the face of Jesus remain impregnated in a, a piece of texture. So mm -hmm. in a way it, it had this connection with, with Jesus' story. And this was my, my shattering and awakening point in a way. And from this point on, a lot of other things happened. That's an incredible story. I could feel it. And I'm thinking it might be the impression of Jesus' face on the shroud. That's what makes me think about that. Um, how beautiful. And I'm sure it just changed your life forever, knowing that you were that love, perhaps accepting your own ability to, to love yourself with that depth. Yes, it, it was important for me to understand because it was speaking to me from my heart. It was uh, the way um, he made me understand that nothing can separate us. Um, like, like that love, it, it always will be inside my heart. No matter what is happening outside, what is inside my heart always will be there. Wow. Yes, the, wow. I, I need it. I need it to understand this at, at that time. Yes, yes. T to me, like e everything comes back to love. You know, it all comes home to love and and I feel like with Gaia, as we build this community, we're building a, a force field of love and consciousness and wisdom and awareness that truly, you know, can transform our world and take us very gracefully, even though we're going through death throes, in, into a real golden age, you know, that's, that, that we're here to present. I feel... People like yourself, and I know for myself, I feel like I was born for this time. And, and, and Guy has been such the perfect match for me, like a match made in heaven where I can take these teachings out. And these, having this conversation with you, it's uh, so touching to me. And I've, I've had my own experiences like that. And uh, often with Tara, the goddess Tara, and she is my namesake. And, you know, I've had those kind of experiences of just, absolute unconditional love and then strength and power to to help to help us liberate one another so um i thank you so much gaia thanks you so much for for being such a beautiful ambassador 
And I do feel the divine feminine is rising and you exemplify that so beautifully, Anishwara. I always feel so honored to know you and to talk with you. So um, thank you for everything you shared today. Is there anything thank else you'd like to leave us with? Yeah, I, I felt to mention that everything is very synchronistic to me. First, uh, the Gaia name is connected with the earth and I feel this deep connection with earth it, within my heart. Then I met Tara in a spiritual way in the same retreat, the Kala Chakra re retreat in 2007. I had my, my uh, encounter with Tara and during this day, this week, it, it is a week for me when I work with Tara and having this interview with you today, your name being Tara, I feel something more synchronistic than this can't, can't be. Absolutely. And this, <clears throat> this new Tanka that I found is the goddess Tara sitting right here behind us, bringing her love and her liberation energy and her peacefulness to us. So there are, yeah, it's, it's, there are no coincidences. Synchronicity is a phenomena that is really beautiful to be aware of. And so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And uh, I know we'll talk again. I'm sure we'll do more interviews. Um, so may peace be with you. And uh, I send you all my blessings. Thank you.